Hello, singer friends, and welcome back to another edition of Victoria's Victorious Vocal Tips. 29 years of teaching voice, 41 years of studying voice, all different styles. Let me ask you, are you still confused about the mix voice? Specifically, chest mix versus head mix? I often get videos from people, they say, look, I found my mix voice. These will be pop singers. I found my mixed voice and they're singing low just fine. And then when they get to the upper middle to upper register, they're in like, woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Sorry, but th that's not appropriate for the style unless you're specifically going into falsetto. Okay, if you want to stay in a natural, conversational, speech-like mode, you must know exactly what that feels like or else you're not singing in the appropriate style. By the end of this video, you will know clearly whether you are in chest mix versus head mix. The sensation is entirely different. Now, this applies to all singers. Men spend most of their time in chest and chest mix or chest blend. Okay, women spend most of their time in pop, in chest mix, but will often have to cross over into head mix. Classical singing uh, for women will require both as well. They may be in head mix, but in the lower tones, they will need to go into a light chest mix. Okay. The exception in the male voice is if you are purposely going into falsetto. But this particular video is going to focus on the difference between chest mix and head mix so that you know. I will also include exercises that you will be able to do and apply right away. Now, if you have not watched my first two videos on the mix voice, you must do that. The first video explained mix voice and applied it through speaking exercises. In the second video, we took the speaking exercise and applied it to singing. Why do I spend so much time on spoken exercises? Well, I believe I have my own method of teaching mixed voice. Speaking exercises are easy. People can relate to them quickly and they can be applied to singing more easily. They are not intimidating. And remember everything I always say, every pitch we can speak at, we can sing at. So let's review quickly the difference between chess, head, chess mix, head mix, and focus on the sensations. Good singers are very aware of the sensations because we cannot hear ourselves accurately when we sing, but good singers are fully aware of what it feels like. So let's start with our chest voice. And I want you to exaggerate. And where do you feel that chest voice? Most people tell me they feel it low down here. Okay. Now head voice and make it real light, kind of like Mickey Mouse. Head voice. Most people tell me they feel it up here. I can't tell you what to feel, but this is what most people tell me. And this is what I feel. Okay, great. Now listen, chest mix. It's like my speaking voice. It's kind of nice and smooth and not so heavy. Chest mix. Can you say that? Chest mix. Great. Now listen, head mix. Head mix is floatier. It feels a little lighter. Can you say that? Head mix. So most people tell me when they are in chest mix, they feel the sensations more here in the mouth, in the hard palate, chest mix. Okay. But when they go to head mix, they feel it more up here. Okay. I want you to discover the sensations in your own voice. Let's do a fun exercise first on speech. Okay. We're going to say hello in five different pitches like this. Hello, 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 hello. Now, 
I stayed in my chest mix, and as I got higher, my chest mix got lighter, okay? Because I don't want to shout my whole voice, okay? So let's try that. We're going to say hello, five different pitches, and each one gets progressively a little bit thinner, but not so thin that it becomes off, comes off speech because we don't talk like that unless your name is Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello, children. But I doubt that that's the way you want to sing and we don't talk like that, okay? So remember, this is for chest mix where we want a more speech-like quality regardless of style or voice type. Okay, so here we go with our five pitches of hello, 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 hello. Okay, and make sure that you are supporting all of these because if you don't support, you're more likely going to flip into falsetto. Okay, now we're going to say hello again, but we're going to sustain a little longer like this. Hello, here we go. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, and you can't be too relaxed and laid back or else you're probably gonna flip. Hello, no, hello. There's gotta be some intensity to it or else it doesn't sound like speech. And that is going to be your number one question. Does it have the element of speech? Does it have the core of speech? So if I'm, hello, no, hello, children, that does not have the core of speech. Hello, hello, children, hello. Yes, it does. That has the core element of speech. Now, secondly, we're going to say hello, but now we're going to stay on the same pitch, so we're not going to be getting higher, but I'm going to demonstrate something else. Listen, hello, 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 hello. Okay. I got lighter on the same pitch. This is what I often hear. Hello, 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 hello. People disconnect when they get softer. No, we must keep that core of speech. So as we get softer, I want you to think that you're saying something very important to me. It's like, listen, I have something very important to say, but I can't speak up very loudly because I don't want other people to hear me. Okay, so listen, hello, 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 hello. Not hello, you get it? So let's try it. Hello, 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 hello. Great, now we're gonna have some fun. You know, I love to demonstrate for you. I'm going to go from speaking to singing back to speaking in three different levels of my chest blend. I'm going to go from thick to thin. Listen, I put a spell on you. I put a spell on you. I'm in my thick chest blend cause I'm a sick and tired. I'm feeling kind of feisty. I'm feeling kind of feisty. I put a spell on you. Okay, that was my thicker chest blend. Listen, I have something to tell you. If you see me walking down the street and I start to cry each time we meet, I'm in my medium chest blend. We're having a conversation. You're here in the room with me and I wanna be very direct. Great, walk on by. I'm having a conversation. What if I want a different mood? Maybe I wanna be a little bit dreamier. Don't know why. There's no sun up in the sky, stormy weather. I'm in my light chest blend because I wanted something dreamier. So you see, we've covered quite a bit in this short little time we've had together today. We have discovered the difference between chest blend and head blend. And now we are talking about different levels of thickness or fullness in the chest blend. So we might have a heavier blend, we might have a medium blend, and we might have a light blend, but they're all, even in the light, it's still related to speech because we said that is your 
Big question. Is it related to speech? Does it have the core element of speech? Before we end, let's do the hello exercise again, both spoken and then sung. And we're going to sustain the pitches like this. Hello. Remember? Here we go. Hello. Higher. Hello. Next. Hello. Next. Hello. Next. Hello. And we stayed on speech, but it got lighter because we didn't yell and everything stayed even. Next, we're going to insert indiscriminate pitches. Hello. 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 Etc. Okay. Do this in your own range. Okay. But your goal is to keep everything the same volume and to stay in the speech-like quality for a chest blend. One more exercise. Baby, baby. Okay. Baby, baby. I'm in my light speech mode. Or I'm in my light chest voice. Listen. Baby, baby. I'm in my light chest voice. I didn't go. Baby, baby. That's my head voice. Okay. But I don't want to sing in head voice right now. I want to stay in my light speech. Baby, baby. So once again, this proves, is it related to speech? When in doubt, you take the tone, whatever it is. Bay, hello, hello, how are you doing today? Bay, 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 bay. Hey, hey, how's it going? Hey. Bay, 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 bay. Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, hey. Not. Hey, hey, how you? We don't talk like that. I will be making more videos on this subject because this is a very complex topic. Remember, the more you master your mixed voice, your blend, the more choices you will have musically, dramatically, vocally, and it will be much more fun and more interesting to your audience. I hope you have enjoyed another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips. Leave me any comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you soon.